Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka, Kodash, Barakata. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, who rule well, and who labor in this word. And I also want to give a sincere peace and salutations and blessings to you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel in our truthfulness and sincerity. You so called Negroes. You so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion of face brothers. Now, with that, this is what I had to wake up to. Uh, this title right here, this took place on um, uh, February 9th, 2018, which was yesterday, Friday. And the title of this video is from the uh, it's from Breitbart. And the title of it's not a slack, it's not a video, but it's a um, it's a, a story. The University of Michigan hosts pederastic lecture on sex between adult men and boys, and you people out here wonder why the hopeful elect, the men who are calling on the name of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, are so piss the fuck off and angry every day man because the lord is angry with the wicked every day man so the the men of the lord are going to be angry with the wicked every day this is what the fuck i had to wake up to a couple hours ago now i'm gonna read the story i'm gonna get some precepts and i'm also gonna uh you know give commentary on this bullshit man so with that Matter of fact, I'm going to get my first precept because as you can see what the title says, the University of Michigan hosts pederastic lecture on sex between adult men and boys. Well, let's see what the uh, scripture says about men having sex, the same sex, man. We're going to go to the uh, book of Leviticus chapter 20 and we're going to read uh, verses 13 and it reads if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman both of them have committed an abomination they shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them so come man it's Wrong from the jump for a man to have sex with another man, man. Now, going back into this, uh, we're going to read the story. It's not too long. It's like it. An event taking place today at the University of Michigan aims to analyze sexual relations between adult men and adolescent boys. An event hosted by the University of Michigan's Institute for Research on Women and Gender on Friday afternoon will focus on analyze the history of pederastic relationships. Pederastic refers to romantic relationships between adult males and adult Salakia and boys. And you know, you fucking devils. Y'all not slick. I'm going to read this again. It says, on Friday afternoon, we'll focus on analyze. Anal. Get it? You devils ain't slick, man. You so-called white people. This is why y'all are going into captivity for a thousand years. And then on Obadiah 18th day, y'all getting burnt up. And there will not be one Edomite left. On the face of this uh, earth, man. Continuing on. The event, which is called Pederastic Kinship, de-idolizing queer studies, will feature Emory University professor Kaji Amin. The lecture will focus relationships. I believe they meant to say the lecture will focus on relationships. But th these people, these wicked ass People eat them, I y'all stupid any fucking way. Between adult males and younger boys, the event description describes modern pederasty as sexually, ethically, 
and politically dubious, but goes on to, here go that word again, analyze the role it played for French author and activist Jean Genet. To identify a relational form as queer kinship is to implicitly dignify and redeem it. What are the limits of such redemption? This talk tests the boundaries of the disclosure of queer family by investigating a sexually, ethically, and politically dubious kinship form, namely modern pederastic. Pederastic kinship names the kinship function of many intergenerational modern pederastic relationships. Its shape is discernible within French author and activist Jean Genet's 1910 through 1986 life that's when that faggot was born and died. Life practices of affiliation, including his habit of introducing himself into the domesticies of heterosexual couples, his practice of financing the heterosexual households of his younger male lovers, and his fantasy of himself as the adopted foundling of the Black Panther Party. You fucking devils, man. Y'all through, y'all done for, man. It's over with. And if you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans can't see these prophecies are passing, man, then, hey, death to you, man. Peter Rastic kinship is a forgotten and uncomfortable precursor to gay and lesbian chosen and nuclear family that restores power and inequality to overly idolize imaginaries of queer kinship. According to most definitions, pederasty is defined as sexual relations between two males, one of which is a minor. The event is scheduled to take place on Friday at the University of Michigan from 2 to 4 p.m. Now, this is my state. I'm from my, first of all, my name is Karata Zah. I'm from the Detroit camp of Great Millstone. And this is my home state, man. <coughs> well, it's the state that I'm from. And I went on YouTube on the news channel, the local news channel, to see if they re even reported on this story. So let's go there real quick. Uh, let me see. We're going to go on YouTube. And we're we're gonna go to uh, my subscriptions, Con and WXYZ TV Detroit. Now we're gonna refresh this page to see all the, okay, see all the latest stories. So we we're gonna scroll through. I still don't see this being reported on the news. Nothing about the University of Michigan. Hosting uh some pedophilia bullshit. Well, that, that was a this was eleven hours ago. Well, maybe if we keep scrolling because it's twenty four hours in a day. Nope, still nothing yet. Nope. Twenty two hour. Oh, one day ago. Well, let's even scroll down still. So this. Nope. Nothing, man. Nothing on this because you so-called white people, you Edomites, y'all are the fucking devil, man. Y'all fucking heathens. Now, we're going to get into uh, some more precepts, man, because this shit is uh, fucking ridiculous. Uh, My next precept is going to be... uh. Con Job chapter 30. And we're going to start at verse 1. Con, but now they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to set with the flock, selected with the dogs of my flock. 
kind. That's you Edomites, man. You so-called white people. You so-called white people couldn't have sat with the uh, dogs of Job's flock, man, because y'all fucking disgusting, man. Let me get my next precept. This is going to be uh, the book of... Um, this is and this is gonna show why uh the most high have to send this son back, Yahweh Shai, and this place, man, America have to be destroyed, man, because all the foundations of the earth are out of place, man. Uh this is the book of Psalms. Yep, Khan. Chapter uh eighty-two and verse five, and it reads, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course, mankind. And all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Because look at what Esau is trying to slickly slide in, man. And ain't nobody saying shit about this. You scoffers and you scorners, y'all not talk, y'all not reporting on this. Y'all not making videos about this. No, y'all want to talk about old oh, Roof and the motor more by this man. Fuck you, motherfuckers, man. Death to all you two thirds. Death to all you heathens, man. Fuck y'all. Now with that, I'm gonna go get my next uh, precept, and it's gonna be still in the same book of Psalms, but we're gonna go to the uh, tenth chapter, and we're gonna start at verse one, and it reads, "Why standest thou afar off, O Lord Yahweh? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble?" The wicked in his pride doeth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Kind, who is the wicked? You so-called white people, man. And you other heathen nations. But namely, the top heathen nation, you Edomites. You so-called white people. Now with that, we're going to get another Odie but goodie just to prove it. This is Job chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Man, who run the world? Who, who, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. Who run in this world, man? Figure it out. Going back into Psalms uh, chapter 10. Verse 3, for the wicked boasts of his heart's desire. And these motherfuckers, they don't. They at these universities boasting of their desires to have sex with uh the same males but young boys and blesses the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. So let me read that again for the wicked boasts of his heart's desire and blesses the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. Khan, the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai hate covetousness, man. Verse 4, the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the Most High Yahweh. The Most High Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. Kind. So that ties into uh, the next precept that I'm about to get because the so-called white man, woman, and child, the Most High is not in their mind, in their thoughts at all, man. Now, with that, we're going to go to uh, Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter 26. Uh, kind, and it reads, let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. So, kind, you can't, the only way you motherfucking Edomites and other heathen nations are going to learn righteousness is by the men of the Lord bashing off Beating your fucking heads in with an iron rod, man. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness in the land of uprightness. Will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord, man. So kind. You know, the spirit jumped on me to uh, make this video. When I woke up this morning. So, you know, hopefully this video was edifying. I once again want to say, Call Halonium, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka, Kodash, Barakata, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son and the Holy Spirit. 
I want to give double honors once again to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, who labor in this word, and who rule well. And I also want to give a sincere peace and salutations to you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel in all truthfulness and sincerity, you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion the face, brothers, man. And with that, I want to say a ball, a ball, death to the nigger woman, and shalom.